Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how the capturing phase and also the bubbling phase works with a simple demo. Let's do. I'm taking the HTML, and here let's say that we are having a div element. Okay, I'm writing the div, and I'm having a form element. I'm writing the form also here, and I'm having a paragraph element. I'm writing the paragraph. This is the structure. I will show you the design how it will look like. So let's do the body path, and I will do margin 10 pixel, and I will give border of one pixel solid red. Okay, so this is simple example. Let's see the output how it will look like. So we see the output. So this is how it will look like. So we are having a development. Inside the development, we are having a form element. Inside this form element, we are having a paragraph element. So this is the simple example we are having. Now let's try to let's try to do the capturing phase and bubbling phase. How it will bubble? For example, if I click on the paragraph element, so now the event will propagate bubbles to the form, and it will fire the form click event for this one, and also that it will it will fire the event click event for this div also. So let's see how it will happen. So let's try to write the click events for all this one. For writing this click event, we can write with a simple thing. So just script. I can take the script, and here we let's say that we are having a DOM elements. So I am trying to take the DOM elements. Document dot query selector. Okay, query selector all of. I will be taking star. Star means it will take all the elements. So that means it will take the HTML, body, div, form, and paragraph. I am taking all the query selectors. It's a query selector. If you try to see here, it will give you the node list. See, this is the node list. We are having HTML. These are all the tags we are having. So body, div, form, paragraph, paragraph. These are the things which we are having. So let's try to do it. So here, so let's do a for loop. So I am doing a for loop here. So there is nothing but for constant element of DOM elements. So I am going to the each element in the DOM elements and I will add an event listener. So that means document dot add event listener. So not document dot element for the element. I want to add a event listener, add event listener of click event. Okay. So click event and here we'll be having a method. So I am using arrow function. These are all ES6 uh, notation. If you want to know about this ES6 concepts and all the things, you can refer to my ES6 course. So here I am using something like console.log. Okay, event fired. Something like this. Event fired. So this is how we will be having. Now let's try to see. I will try to show you. If I click on the paragraph, see event is fired five times. Why? Because the event is bubbling. So that is the reason. For all the elements, it has been fired. So let's try to have something like here I am passing a true. So that means so this one is an capturing phase. Okay, so this needs to find a capturing phase. So here I instead of using console.log, I'll be using alert. And here I can write capturing phase. And for this one, we can write element dot tag name so that we can know which tag name, which tag is firing. So now we got the capturing phase. So we need to catch the bubbling phase also. We need to print the bubbling phase also. Let's try to take the bubbling phase. So bubbling phase means we, there is no need to pass the true. So we can pass the false or otherwise you can leave it like that only. Why? Because by default that one is false only. So here I will be taking element dot add event listener of click event. And here also I can write the method, the event handler, not method, actually it's an event handler. And I will do alert bubbling phase. <coughs> bubbling phase. And here event dot tag name. That's it. So these are the two things capturing phase and the bubbling phase. Now, what I want to tell you is I want to explain you one concept before executing this method. Okay, before executing this code. So first we need to understand what could be the output. So first, what I have told you. So if you try to see here, let's open the paint and we'll try to explain the concept which we have learned it. So first it will be a window. Okay. It will be a window here. I will write it like this. Okay. Sorry. 
and here window after window you will be having a document okay and afterwards you will be having an html html then you will be having a body in this scenario so in our scenario in our scenario means so in our code so here after body you will be having the div and afterwards you will be having the form and afterwards you will be having a paragraph element so this is the flow so first what it will try to do so whenever whenever an event is happened so that for example let's say that we have clicked on the event so we have clicked on the paragraph element so that means click event is fired so we have fired the click event when the click event is fired so first it will go to capturing phase so here it will go to window document and html so we have a event listener that should be fired in a capturing phase okay so that means first html will be printed so the output here the expected output we will try to do the expected output first the capturing phase happens right so we have written an event listener that it needs to be fired in the capturing phase so that means first html will be fired so here we can write it as html the output alert will come next body okay so capturing phase for this one also it is there the event listener body next the div so in this scenario you will be having the div so these are all capturing phase capturing phase capturing phase capturing phase okay next form and next you will be having the paragraph element these are all capturing phases okay capturing phases so after cap capturing so paragraph element one next bubbling phase starts bubbling phase also we have written an add event listener so that means after the paragraph you will be having p with a bubbling phase okay this tag name is p then afterwards you will be having a form then you will be having a div then you will be having a body then you will be having an html so like this it will be firing so the output will be first will be capturing html capturing body capturing due capturing form capturing p then the bubbling happens bubbling p bubbling form bubbling due body and html bubbling so let's try to see the output now you understood now you have a clear idea about this one the so capturing phase and the bubbling phase and we have written events for both the capturing phase and also the bubbling phase so we have written add event listener for the capturing phase and also for the bubbling phase with the tag name so let's see that which one fires and which tag fires with capturing phase fires we know that capturing phase fires first so which tag name fires first and all those things let's try to see so now i am trying to refresh this page so this time i am trying to click on a paragraph element click so now here you'll be able to see capturing phase html so first it has printed the capturing phase html so if i click on ok so then it is going to body capturing phase body then if i click on ok capturing phase due then the capturing phase due so then capturing phase form so then capturing phase paragraph so all the capturing phase has been completed now you will get a bubbling phase paragraph next bubbling phase form bubbling phase due body and also html that's it so that means the whatever the output we have expected here capturing html body due form p and also paragraph form due body html so this is how it will be firing so this is how the event actually works through the dom so first it will do the capturing phase and then afterwards it will go through the bubbling phase so the so can we control this capturing phase and uh, bubbling phase so we can control it so we will i will try to i will try to tell you so this is how we can fire the this is all about the capturing phase and the bubbling phase hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.